Okay guys, so this is gonna be quite a short little video. Sorry for the sideways footage, but um this is just something I quickly did right now, so I'm gonna show you how this um I guess turned out. So basically nitrite, it's hard to get these people keep eating it to commit an existence. So either the only way you could get it is either with a business license and proper chemical supplier or, or go on to said um self-deletion forms and ask for it. <laughs> That's such a stupid idea. But but I guess it would work. But basically I've been testing ways to make nitrite. First method I tested, uh reduction, um not not reduction, but um conversion of nitrate to nitrite by thermal decomposition. So we use six grams of sodium nitrate and 0 0.08 grams of magnesium, I don't know, manganese dioxide as a catalyst. And theoretically, I should get like four point something grams of sodium nitrite. And basically I brought it up to 600 Celsius, with my blowtorch, I know quite excessive, but that's when I saw a lot of oxygen evolution. And then I had to stop because my clamp melted. <laughs> But afterwards, after letting it cool down, dissolving in water and filtering it, I got the solution left over, which then, if I added hydrochloric acid, evolved some red gas. So there is some nitrate. Then I added methanol to see if I could make methyl nitrite, and indeed there was methyl nitrite. So I guess this is a viable option of synthesizing um, alkali nitrites. However, I have to research this further because 600 Celsius is quite excessive, and as you can see, our yield really took a dive because, um, well, according to Wikipedia, sodium nitrite boils at like 300 Celsius or something like that. So, yeah, I definitely decomposed a lot of stuff, but it, it, it's progress. So I'll update you about this soon if I get any more developments. But in the meantime, I'm working on some other stuff. I'm also doing a bit of experimentation with it. But, uh, yeah, so... That's sort of it for this quick lab note drop, uh, video, because I don't think I'll post anything this week. I'll, I'll try. I have a bunch of backlog that I have to edit up, but um, I'm doing a lot right now, as you can probably guess with all that stuff and other stuff, and then, yeah. But, um, yeah, this is, this is going to be an exciting month of research, amateur research. Now, probably some guy on Science Man this has already perfected this, but I want to make it in a video format, and I want to do it, so, yeah. Anyways, that's it for this quick little video. See you guys next time. Huh. Methyl nitrite is a lot more cursed than I thought, apparently. It can detonate. Uh, I think I gotta stop messing around with that stuff, however cool it is. It's like flammable white gas, but, uh, this... I can't risk a detonation, that's just horrible. At least it's not methyl nitrate, I guess. And I doubt this stuff detonates rather easily, but... I don't want to risk it. It gets even more sensitive in the presence of metal oxides and with organic base... Uh, inorganic bases, it forms explosive salts. So I think I'm going to stop messing around with this stuff because it's, it's pretty cursed, unfortunately. Oh well. Anyways, yeah, that's sort of it.